Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Hayabusa T3 boxing headgear. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Hayabusa T3 boxing headgear. I got mine in the black and gold colorway. You can also get this in all black as well as a white and black colorway. Sizing wise, I went with the large XL. They also have it in a small medium. You can go onto the Hayabusa website to check out their sizing chart to determine what is the correct size for you based on your head dimensions. Uh, my first impression of this headgear when I first saw it was that it actually looks really nice. I like the design of it. Um, I've tried several of the Hayabusa products in the past. Their S4 gloves, their H5 gloves, and obviously their T3 gloves, which is probably by far their most popular uh, boxing gloves that they sell. Um, this uses the same uh, type of synthetic leather material on the exterior uh, as their other gloves like the H5 and the T3. Um, and they also have a MMA version of this headgear, which is pretty much identical in design. The only thing that's different is they add a uh, chin pad at the very bottom, so you have uh, a padded chin, uh, where the boxing version, like you see here, just comes with your standard uh, chin strap. Uh, this retails for $99, uh, which I'll let you guys determine whether or not it's worth it to you price-wise after I go over the details of this headgear. Now, design-wise, you can see right here, one thing that stands out to me is that this headgear is, uh, isn't very compact. It's a little bit more on the bulkier side. It's not a heavy headgear by any means. It's not super lightweight. I'd say it's right there in the middle. Uh, when I weighed it, uh, weighed in at about 13 and a half ounces. Um, but one thing, but when I say it, it's not, it's not can't compact, is the way that the foam is formed in this headgear. When you put it into your gym bag, some headgears you can lay flat and you could kind of flatten them out and then they stuff right into your gym bag for convenience. This one you can, I mean, I guess you can essentially just kind of crush it down, uh, but you'll end up bending the foam. So the foam panels on this headgear, at least on the exterior of it, is a little bit stiffer. And because of that, it kind of keeps more of its shape, which is a good thing because you don't have like this weird lopsided feeling headgear. Uh, but if you are trying to store it in your gym bag, you might need a little bit more space because it's a little bit more rigid in structure when you try to fold it. And you can see here, like if you try to fold it down, it'll really bend the foam. So for me, in order for it to keep true to its shape, I would rather, when I put it down into my gym bag, that it's kind of separated from everything else. That way I don't end up uh, messing up the actual foam build on this. But looking at it, you can see it has a really cool look. I like what Hayabusa does with the design of their gear. Uh, they keep it really clean, kind of elegant looking. Um, on the front of the forehead, you can see it has this metallic gold stripe that's diagonal, as well as this kind of carbon fiber looking piece right here. Uh, so it makes it look really clean. You also have their, um, this Hawk logo that's actually embossed into the forehead as well with the gold. So that looks really clean. Um, they use contrasting stitch stitching as well. Aside from the black stitching, they also use this gold stitching. So it kind of pops in terms of just the look and the color um, of the headgear. This actually has cheek protectors right here um, that is kind of tapered. So you can see the padding on the side of the head right here kind of comes down, drops down to where the cheek protectors are. Um, and then it has a little bit of a lip when you're looking at it and then it kind of tapers down right here. So it's a little bit more on the thinner side on the inside corner of this, uh, on this cheek protector. So you have that. And then obviously the leather, leather material that they use here, that leather type material, uh, has a really nice greeny finish. If you have any of the T3 or H5 gloves at home, uh, then you'll know exactly the type of material it is, the same type. Uh, the top crown right here, you can see the piping. Um, you also have, I'd say about an inch thick of uh, medium density padding on the top of the crown. And they also have this patented T-bar system, which is gonna be the top adjustment. And this is a, uh, piece. this piece right here is also synthetic and it's in that metallic gold. You also have that embossed Hayabusa logo at the very bottom of the tab. And you see the Velcro adjustment. So basically when you pull down on it, it or allow, allow some slack, it basically brings this crown part downwards and kind of gives you a little bit more of a tight fit. Uh, one drawback I found with this is if you pull down too far on it and your head's a little bit smaller in this regards as far as the crown sizing goes, 
is that you'll end up having this big lip of Velcro. So say for example, even if you have that much or just a little bit, of, say you go up that much, now you have this exposed piece of Velcro that's pretty scratchy. And if you kind of flip your head back, this definitely, will, you can feel the scratch on the back of your head. So I'm not a big fan of that. So what I ended up doing is when I fitted it, I made sure that it didn't drop down that far. And the issue with that now is you're losing a little bit of that snugness of the top crown adjustment because you don't want that Velcro piece to drop down and scratch the back of your head. Then you also have the rear horizontal adjustment. Let me just take off the top piece right here. And the horizontal adjustment basically just comes right through. You have a, a D-ring on that side. You have a really nice, say one inch thick pad for the back of your head to protect the back of your head. And that just basically sits on like that and then use this to adjust the back of your head. Put that down and then obviously the top adjustment. So that's the way that works. I'll show you when I put this headgear on my head, how it actually comes all together. The sides of the head, padding wise has a denser style foam. I'd say this is about an inch, an inch and a half thick of firm density padding that gives you some protection. You also have a recessed air drum right here with a little kind of a diagonal golden uh, tab right here. Uh, mesh material is pretty cheap feeling. I'm not a fan of that because this is definitely gonna tear over time um, just from the how thin it is. So that material is really thin. It does a decent job of giving you some protection, but your main ear protection here, you don't have like a standard donut. It's just recessed on the inside of the ear so that um, it kind of gives you some padding around the eardrum right there. Tapered neck in the back. On this side, same thing with the eardrum. Only difference is you have that Hayabusa logo that's embossed right here on the inside. The chin strap is just uses Velcro. It's not a quick clip system, which I think this would have benefited from just to make it a little bit quicker to put that on. So you have that Velcro strap with the two little, little pads right here at the bottom that go underneath your chin. Another great feature of this headgear is gonna be the liner. It has a really nice smooth uh, cloth liner, kind of feels foamy. And what I like about that, it doesn't allow the headgear to slip around very much and it's comfortable. It's not like a cloth liner where it's really scratchy and it makes you itch. So they did a really nice job with this liner. I wish more headgears used this style of liner. One, obviously, so your headgear doesn't slide around a lot and two, for the comfort of the headgear. The bottom, you can see it says that it's designed in North America. The headgear is made in China and it's size large. So there you have it. That's pretty much the overview of this headgear. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this thing on so you guys can see how it fits. So one thing I would always suggest is to pre-size it to your head so that when you are gonna finally start using it regularly, the only thing you have to worry about adjusting and installing or putting on, should I say, is gonna be the chin strap. So slide this thing on, has a really nice fit. From there, just to show you guys from the back side, you can make your vertical and horizontal adjustments. So I'm gonna take that top part off. From here, I can make it snugger. So that feels really good. And then here's the top part. So you can see right here what I mean by this little tab kind of dropping too low. If I go like that, you can see it scratches the back of my neck. So because of that, I actually lift it up and have it go up a little bit higher so that now I have full mobility if I ever have to look up and rotate my head. So that's that. Let me go ahead and put this chin strap on. Push it through that little slot right there. And that's it. So you can see it's really easy to put on. The chin strap is in the perfect spot right where it needs to be, under my chin, not under my throat. Uh, the cheek protectors are in a really nice spot as well. They feel really comfortable. With my peripheral vision, I can see them, but they don't, they don't really impede uh, my vision as far as my, my, my downward vision. So um, for those of you that are wondering if you can see uppercuts coming, yes. So this, I feel it gives you an excellent field of vision, both laterally from side to side and up and down. Uh, the cutout right here is large enough to where you have good eyesight. So even if you were to be in a ducking position, if you're going underneath a punch or a kick or whatever it is you're, you're going underneath, you can still kind of look upwards and still see what's coming at you and be able to adjust to that. So I definitely love the visibility. Cheek protectors do a good job at protecting your cheeks, not so much your nose. Right here, you can see my nose is still exposed. I did take a couple of shots to the nose with this on. So if you're somebody that's looking for more nose protection, um, 
I would probably suggest something else. Uh, but if you're not concerned with that and you're looking for a good open face cheek protector style headgear, then this definitely will do the job. But you will, if you are looking at nose protection, you will eat some shots to the nose. And that's the trade-off that you get with this style of the headgear is that you have better you have better visibility and being able to see things coming. Um, but the protection for the nose typically isn't as good as some of the raised cheek protector headgear that kind of come in a little bit further towards your nose and are a little bit higher up. But now you're sacrificing your, your visibility. So again, there's a trade-off with that. The comfort of it, it feels awesome. One thing I think Hayabusa has done great with is the ergonomics of their products. Um, I can tell that they really made sure that this headgear fit the way it's supposed to. The fact that they use a softer foam compared to the harder foam on the exterior is really nice. It gives it a much more custom form-fitting feel. It doesn't feel like you're just putting a piece of cardboard against your head. Um, and the fact that it does retain its shape better than like one of those headgears that you can just kind of flatten out and throw in your gym bag is really nice because again, it feels a lot more comfortable. Uh, my ears are in, a good, are in a good position right here on the inside. You can see the positioning is really good right there. I don't have any issues. I would say that the this part right here is a little on further back. So maybe if my face was a little bit longer, it would be a little bit more centered, but it still doesn't bother me. I don't feel like there's any like pressure points or any areas on the head here that I feel any discomfort. On the back, I already showed you guys how I, I put all the Velcro on there. It feels comfortable as well. You have that tapered neckline, so that really helps with mobility and being able to rotate your head. It feels relatively lightweight. I don't feel like the weight of it gives me any issues uh, in that regard. So you can see that it looks really good. The padding feels really nice here. Taking a shot to the head, obviously you're gonna feel it. Uh, for those of you that are wondering, you know, as far as shock absorption goes, I've always said it in the videos with headgear. The main purpose of this is to pr protect you from, from head butts and clashes so you don't any, get any kind of bruising or cuts around your eyes or your orbital bone. Um, but as far as taking shots, you definitely would feel it. If you take a straight shot to the head, a hook, you know, you still get your brain rattled regardless of what kind of headgear it is. To me, the main thing is your visibility and the comfort of the headgear and how it makes you feel when you're using it. And the, this one feels really good. So. Overall, as a headgear, I'm really happy with this Hayabusa boxing headgear. I love the fact that they gave you an option for a boxing version where you don't have a chin pad, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, maybe if I was into MMA or some kind of kickboxing, it would be more, uh, be more to my liking. But the fact that I just do boxing, uh, I don't really need that. I feel that uh, giving you the option for that is good. You have a couple different colors to choose from, good sizing. The fit feels really nice, um, a de decent weight when it comes to weight. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel extremely light. Um, and the visibility to me is probably the, the number one thing aside from the comfort of the headgear and I think it's they're both excellent. So overall, maybe you could score this for the regular price. I think it's still a good headgear. I know Hayabusa also does discounts. Uh, if you can get it for even a discounted rate, I think it'd be nice. Um, you know, one thing I'm, I would say is that it is a synthetic headgear, but the synthetic material that Hayabusa uses is really durable. Um, and I know for those of you that are the genuine lover, part of that genuine leather lover, genuine lover, genuine leather crew that is all about the leather, um, you know, I think they still do a pretty good job with this. Both Hayabusa and, and I think Rival does a really good job with their synthetics. They hold up a lot longer, they're more rugged, um, and they just don't fall apart right away after only a couple months of use. So. Definitely highly recommended headgear. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find this Hayabusa T3 boxing headgear. See you guys next time. Peace.